Ah, they're fine. In fact, I see Stewie reading a book. Scratch and sniff. Lindsay Lohan goes jogging. Oh, God, that's terrible. Oh, here's a pop-up book. Tommy Lee goes boating. Jeez, are we really living that close to the edge? You know we are, Brian. Why do you think we waited so long to take you to the groomers last month? Hey, isn't it time for me to get a haircut? Oh, no. I think you just got one. Are you sure? Because I feel like my nails are really long. Yeah, yeah, I'll check, but I'm pretty sure it's not for another couple of weeks. <laughs> what day is this? Uh, Peter. Peter Griffin. And I'm Lowe. Catch you later, Peter. Oh, he was really nice. Not like when I met that bitch Shelly Duvall. Hi, I'm Shelly Duvall. Very nice to meet you. Big deal. Came right up to me like I was just dying to meet her. Peter, you're gonna have to let that one go. Well, it sounds to me like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman and a Napoleon hat? But well, we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion as Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it, play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right, I'm gonna check her for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, What's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. What the hell is going on up there? It just seems to me that perhaps it's time to think about retirement. Never! Retirement's for old people. I can work till I die. Maybe even after that. Mr. Pewterschmidt, the gentlemen from Zurich are here for your 10 o'clock. Will you need anything else? Mr. Pewterschmidt. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. Right? Oh, my God, so weird. I tell you something. If he touches my daughter, I'm going to be kicking butts and taking names. And then giving those names to other people whose butts I kick. <laughs> What's your name? Derek. What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. I, I just, you know, sometimes taking things slower is better. Just ask any sloth. Hey, is sometimes taking things slower better? Yeah. You betcha. But I have to say, I thought you'd drive a fancier car. What? Why? Well, aren't you the Peter Griffin of Peter Griffin Cadillac? No, that's another guy. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, and at Peter Griffin Cadillac, we believe in three things. Fair dealing, family, and friendship. I've lived in Quahog my whole life. I love it here, and you're gonna love a Peter Griffin Cadillac. Scumbag. Come on, Stewie, hurry up. I wanna get good seats. Ugh, I hate going to hear authors read from their work. That Dr. Seuss reading was dreadful. And when the drugs stopped numbing the pain, the sex became even more violent. It doesn't rhyme. The new stuff doesn't rhyme! Come on, it's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 let's, let's, not, let's not bring the monkey. What are you talking about? This money is our ticket to the good life, starting now. I just bought a giant room full of gold coins, and I'm gonna dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. It's not a liquid! It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface! Ah! Yeah, I can't wait to fire all them city employees, starting with that half-asleep construction worker. What the hell? Which one is it? Stop or go forward? This is a big deal. They're not at all similar. Yeah, no, 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 no. You, sir, have lost my business. Um, excuse me. Excuse me? Boy, I wonder where the shampoos are around here. I said, I wonder where the shampoos are around here. Oh, for God's sake, I almost thought you were a regular person. Where's the shampoo? Chris has also been developing some very expensive tastes. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Bring me my finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. <laughs> You don't 
see poor people doing this. But don't expect any miracles. I'm not good with confrontation. Like when I got stuck behind that giraffe at the ball game. Yeah! Nice hit! Frozen rope! Awesome! What just happened? Crown rule double! Woo! I couldn't even see it. Yeah, it was something. Ducks on a pond! Let's bring them in! Could you please sit down? I am sitting down. You sit up! I am sitting up, but I still can't see a thing. Yeah, it sounds like a you problem. Let's go, socks! We now return to One Hour Crime Show, where the murderer is the most famous person in the credits. I think you're gonna want to take a look at this. What do we got? Looks like somebody had a rough night out. Boy, you can say that again. Better get the coroner down here. He's still got his watch and his wallet. Guess that rules out robbery. Stabbed 17 times in the chest? I'd say the murderer knew the victim intimately. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. Oh. <laughs>